What's going on guys? Today we are inside of Affinity Publisher and I just wanted to make a really quick video on explaining the differences of CMYK versus RGB and why you're going to choose one color profile over the other depending on the type of design that you are working on. So if we just pay attention to the screen in front of us, you can see I have two different versions of Affinity Publisher open. The one over here on the left hand side I've set up in CMYK, whereas the one over on the right I have set up as RGB. When we are working inside of RGB, all of our colors are a lot more vibrant compared to CMYK, as those ones just seem to look a little bit washed out in comparison. So that is one of the first things that you will notice when comparing both of these together. So if you pay attention over to the left hand side inside of our CMYK version, you can see that I've set up six different circles with different colors inside of here. And I'm going to use these as an example to show you how they change colors between CMYK and RGB. So to get started, what I want to do is select all of these circles and I'm going to make a copy of these. Then I'll head over to the RGB version and I'm going to go ahead and paste these in. So if we take a look at this right away and we compare these side by side, you can see there is a big difference in terms of these colors. So right now, this blue right here looks a lot more vibrant than the one over here. That definitely looks more washed out than that one does. Same for the green, that is a really bright green there, whereas that looks a little bit more darker. And you can see that's generally the same across all of these colors. Everything in RGB looks a lot more vibrant than it does over in CMYK. Keeping in mind that these are the exact same colors that I've just brought over here. So if you put any of these hex codes in the CMYK version over into here, you're going to end up with these exact same colors. They're just going to be completely different shades. So at this point, you're probably asking yourself why this even matters, whether you are using RGB or whether you're going to work in CMYK. And the reason for this is most of the time, a lot of you guys may not really acknowledge the fact that you want to work in CMYK for print and you'll go ahead and you'll design all your designs using RGB. So let's just say, for example, that this project over here on the right hand side, all these six circles right here is going to be your project that you are going to send to your client. This is your final work right here and you are dead set on having all of these colors the way that they look. What is actually going to happen when you go ahead and send this file over to your client or over to your printer? When you come to print this document, it's not going to come out like we got right here on the right hand side. Once we print all of these colors right here, it's actually going to turn out to be these colors over here over on the left hand side which in most cases can completely ruin your design because you did not design it with these colors right here in mind. So this right here is why it is really important for you to make sure that when you are designing for print that you want to be working in CMYK because all of the colors that you use inside of CMYK are going to be the exact same colors that your printer can produce. So no matter what color we choose inside of here, no matter what shade we go with, any of these colors inside of CMYK, your printer can replicate these colors. So you're not going to end up with any nasty surprises when you come to print this and your design will look exactly how you designed it. However, if any of you guys do not plan on printing and all of your content is strictly for web or device, such as an iPad or a mobile phone, something that will be viewed on a screen and not be printed, then you always want to be working in RGB as that is always going to give you the more vibrant colors, which is going to look better on a screen. So these colors right here aren't necessarily going to change their shades on any device that people are viewing them on. Of course, it's going to be dependent on how bright their screen is and their saturation settings, etc. Every monitor is going to produce different colors. But for the most part, these colors are not going to change much across different monitors. So just keep in mind that if you are designing for web or device, you want to be inside of RGB. Whereas if you just plan on printing from the moment you start your project, then go ahead and make sure that you work in CMYK. And just to quickly mention that if you started a project inside of CMYK and you actually want to change that to RGB, the way that you can do that is by going up to your document setup over here on the left hand side. And inside of here, you can go over and change your color profile from CMYK 
over to RGB, go ahead and hit OK, and then that will change automatically for you over here. So now we are inside of RGB rather than CMYK. And the same principle, if you are inside of RGB and you want to go and change that to CMYK, just do the exact same thing as before. And now you can see the change to shades. So don't worry too much if you've already started a big project and you're a bit concerned about your printing. Just go ahead and swap that color profile over and adjust any of the colors to suit you. So I've just opened up Affinity Designer just as a quick example to show you something that you may actually want to print so we can also see the differences here. Once again, we have CMYK over on the left hand side and we have RGB over on the right. So straight away, we can see that the green on the RGB is definitely a lot more vibrant than it is over on the left hand side. As for the yellow, there's not a major difference there between both of these shades, so you wouldn't worry too much about that one. The red's a little bit brighter over here on the RGB than it is in the CMYK. And we can definitely notice it down here inside of our shadows. It's a lot darker inside of the RGB version than it is over in the CMYK. It kind of looks more dark gray over there. So these are some of the things that could change across your designs when you go ahead and print that. And it may not look the way that you designed it. And of course, the same principle applies whether you are working inside of Affinity Photo, Designer or Publisher. If you are designing for print, you want to be inside the CMYK. And if you're designing for web or device, you want to be in RGB. And that's pretty much standard across any kind of graphic software that you may be using, whether it's Adobe or Affinity or any of the many other different programs that you can get. So that is it for today's video. I hope you found this useful and I will see you in the next one.